Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. To change it up a bit, today I'll be taking a look at the Power Colors R9390 PCS Plus model of graphics card. Yay, it's not another water cooler review. Some of you are not that familiar with this brand since the holy trinity Asus, Gigabyte and MSI pretty much rule the market. There is actually no real reason for you not to look at this brand, as you'll see later on, they make a pretty compelling product. Although the product box doesn't reveal that much on the front, on the back except the usual rundown of the AMD's features and card's technical specifications, you can see a detailed overview of the additional upgrades which Powercolor used when building its aftermarket beast of an AMD R9390 series. Opening up the box, in it you'll find a quick start guide and an optical disc with drivers and software. Six pin to eight pin PCI Express power adapter and that's about it for the bundle. And here's the graphics card itself. First thing you'll notice is how this model is really heavy, mostly based on the fact that it has two big aluminium heatsinks, a couple of heat pipes connecting them in between, and other small passive heatsinks that cool off its power design, but also because the outer shell is made out of metal, which is a rare sight as it's usually made out of plastic. Adding to the overall weight is this nice looking metal backplate with cool design and writings. It actually helps the card cooling wise and also for it not to flex that much under its own weight, although it will definitely sag once you put it onto the motherboard and it's usual position inside of the case. Overall the card looks really nice with some subtle details here and there and before all it breeds build quality while this black and grey color scheme go pretty much hand in hand with any other component. To top everything off you probably notice the three 80mm fans which keep everything cool and it needs to be as the R9390 can get hot at times. In regards of the other bits and pieces on the back side end of the card you can see one 6 and one 8 pin PC Express power connector while on the other side of it we have a small switch for toggling between the legacy and UEFI BIOS support. For video outputs you'll come across onto a standard set of one display port, one HDMI, DVI-D and DVI-I ports. Putting the card to the test, we didn't go too deep into benchmarks as most of you are already pretty familiar with the overall R9390 performance. One thing you should have in mind in regards of this particular model is that it has a GPU core clock speed of 1010 MHz. Having that information in hand you can easily compare it to other R9390 models out there performance wise. Some of them have a bit lower, some of them a bit higher core clock and based on that you can pretty much accurately estimate the performance difference give or take a few frames. That's not a big concern as even if you have a R9390 model that has a bit lower GPU clock speed, you can always easily overclock it additionally to make up for the difference. Bottom line, when the performance difference is not that big between an X example and Y example of a brand of R9390 series, the only thing left to compare is the coolers themselves and that's what I tend to look at in such cases. Of course you can count in the build quality, custom PCB and power design, but that in most cases goes along with the aftermarket cooler itself, so you can look at it as a whole. The Power Colors R9390 PCS Plus here performed really good in my opinion. First of all it had 0 dB fan mode, so the card is dead silent most of the time. In our case it even withstood pretty high temperatures and smaller loads without turning them on at all. Even when you're finished with your game session they will shut down in the next 5 seconds. The load temperature never went above the 63 degrees Celsius mark, basically the fans adjust their speed to maintain that number. They've ran a bit louder under the Fermax stress test, which is a bit hard harder on the GPU than your usual game, while under Unigen Heaven benchmark they were a bit quieter while maintaining the same temperature. Of course the fan curve can be additionally modified to your willing using the AMD's Crimson control panel or the MSI's Afterburner software. The only gripe I had with it was the coil whine, which is not that loud but nonetheless annoying, basically your standard R9390 issue. Thank you guys once again for checking out our unboxing and review of the Power Colors R9390 PCS Plus graphics card. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our TechTik YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.